so in the previous lectures we have covered about joint distribution of random variables marginals pmf of up marginals of pmf pdf independence of random variables correlation of random variables i think we also discussed joint distributions of functions of random variables right and uh, we stopped at moment generating functions any questions so far on whatever we discussed so far and uh, where are you people in ie621 huh? conditional expectations okay i think uh, and all this uh, law of large numbers central limit theorem reached and moment generating functions okay so i will we have conditional probability mass function and pdf but i will be going through them very quickly today so this is the last lecture on the necessary probability we need and uh, whatever the two theorems we are going to discuss today law of large numbers and central limit theorem here they are the basically bridge between our probability and statistics okay so moment generating functions what is abbreviated as mgfs is a function phi which goes from real values to positive real numbers and how it is defined phi of x of a random variable x at point t is defined as expectation of e to the power tx okay so x is your random variable and now you are going to take expectation of this so what we are basically doing is we are defining a new random variable y which is e to the power t of x and now we are trying to find expectation of y and this is we are defining for every t that is why the argument of this function is the entire real line and now this e to the power tx this is always going to be positive right so this random variable y i have defined this is a positive valued random variable even if my x takes negative values y will always take positive value so that is why the range is always going to be positive valued now its expectation you can just see that and uh, if you recall we had something called uh, lotus right law of unconscious statisticians yeah if you just apply this i really don't need to go and find out what is the pmf or pdf of y from pmf or pdf of x all i just need to do is compute these probabilities and use the this function then you will directly gets this moment generating functions so to find this moment and generating function that's it like if i to find a moment generation function of x if it is discrete just use this x value to compute its expectation and if it is continuous just use cdf of x to compute its expect i mean this expectation now why this moment generating functions are useful okay now look into this for time being that does not matter let's assume so notice that if you look into this phi of x is this function is differentiable in t see phi of x is taking t as the argument right can this function be differentiated at t okay let's say we can differentiate so what is this for time being just focus on the continuous case okay so now phi of x of t is f of x x dx of oh sorry e to the power t x dx and this is entire one. now what i'm asking is d by dt of p of x at t and now i need to suppose i i now what i'm doing here first i'm doing the integration operation 
and then I am doing the differentiation operations. Can this integration and differentiation operation can be swapped? So, instead of this I want to do this. Now, I want to do differentiation first. d by t s. Are they still the same if I do this? S all the time? Huh? When this is possible? It need to be? You said somebody said uniformly continuous. What is that? Okay. Anyway, check this when this is possible. We are integrating? Yeah, x. Yeah, we are getting integrating over x, that is fine, but uh, it's uh, still always possible to change this integration and differentiation. It's in general not true, but it works under some conditions. You can look for those conditions. Uh, now, if you do this here, this becomes simpler, right? Only thing that is differentiable since I have to differentiate with respect to t, this is simply going to be t e to the power t x dx, right. And now if I do this, this is going to be t times, what is this? Uh, now t has come out, right? Oh, right. Now, if you look into this expression, one thing you will notice is had this term not been there e to the power t x, this is exactly equal to expectation of x, right. And when this term will not be there, one possibility is when t equals to 0. So, if I take do this d by d a t phi of x t and compute it at t equals to 0, I get expectation of x. So, like this, if you do it, take that second derivation, you will end up with this expression. Okay? And now, see like this one here, what I basically did here. Okay, maybe. This I can simply write as this is nothing but expectation of x e to the power t x, right. Now simply now if I, so that is why this is x e to the power t x. Now if you do a double differentiation you will get and again if you put t equals to 0, you will get expectation of x square. And similarly if you keep on doing take the nth derivative, you will get this. And when you sub t compute that value at t equals to 0, you will get this. So, now notice that you got expectation of x, expectation of x square and expectation of x power n. These are called basically the moments. Expectation of x is the first moment, which we also call as mean. And uh, this is the second moment and like that. And when you do it nth, this is called the nth moment. Okay. So, if you somehow know the moment generating function of a random variable, basically you can generate all the moments. Okay. Just you need to do, if you need to find the nth moment, you need to differentiate that many times and uh, after that plug in t equals to 0 in the nth derivative. Okay, this is true. I am doing this under the assumption that it is the differentiable at the point t equals. And now, if I know the first moment and second momentum moment, I know the relation for computing the variance. Now, variance of x is nothing but second momentum minus square of the first momentum. You can even go and collect the variance in this case. So, another thing why 
moment generating functions are used is with them operations becomes many times useful okay for example let's say if you have this bunch of random variables and i say that they are independent okay now in that case and i'll be interested in this new random variable which is basically the sum of all these random variables and i am interested in finding phi of y at t so now that is y is nothing but summation and uh, by definition okay before i write this up by definition this quantity is nothing but expectation of e to the power t x1 x2 all the way up to xn which is nothing but expectation of e to the power t x1 e to the power t x2 and e to the power t x n and now if this x1 x2 are independent can i write the expectation of the product as product of the expectations of each one of this term now we know that this is nothing but this product i equals to 1 to n expectation of e to the power t x i and by definition this is nothing but phi of x i at t and that is what we have obtained okay so when i have this bunch of random variable and if they are independent if i know the moment generating function of each one of them then i can easily compute the moment generating function of their sum all i need to do is take the product and another good thing about mgf is moment generating functions uniquely determines the distribution if you give a distribution and if i find out its moment generating function there is a one to one map between them okay so here is i have directly put a table here computing moment generating functions of some of the distributions that we have studied the moment generating functions of a bernoulli random variable with probability p or with parameter p is this quantity and uh, binomial is going to be like this and uh, geometric can be computed to be like this like this poisson also computed and for the distributions like the uniform exponential uh, gaussian and gamma also have computed and written here okay now suppose let's say i give you a moment generating function which is of this form this is what this means this x is definitely has to be binomial okay and let's take another example if i have another moment generating function which i said to be like this so this has to be this is which distribution first normal 0.7 and 1 variance is going to be 1 okay so like this if i tell you any moment generator functions you should be able to uniquely map it to that distribution and there is one more notion of characteristic function which is very analogous to moment generating function but that involves this complex number instead of simply taking it to the power t x we will take it as e to the power t j x if our random variable has some complex value in that maybe it we can handle that okay and uh, what is j here j is the euler's number okay and by definition or like as a property this characteristic function always exists okay so once we make it uh, complex valued right 
if something we can't present in real we can always present in the complex domain. So that is why this the good thing about character function is this always exist and sometime moment generating functions may not exist. And as a remark like if we know that let us say for some n. What does this mean? Yeah, so the nth moment of a random variable is finite. That means its nth moment exists. What does this mean is, this implies, I mean this needs a proof but I am just giving as a remark. This is going to be then this implies that x of j is going to be infinite less than infinity for all j less than or equals to n. So, if nth moment is finite, that means if exists, all the lower lim uh, moments also exist. But uh, with this information, I cannot claim that expectation of x n plus 1 is finite, I cannot claim this, this does not imply. Okay. Okay, so more on the moment generating functions we will see in the tutorial session and uh, we just you have to remember this like uh, the only thing is uh, discrete you have to use the appropriate summation formula like and if it is continuous you have to use the integration the p use the pdf there.